Hello there, everyone. Uh, this is Iron Mark Three, and where the hell did I put the battery? Oh, that that sea glide's almost done. Welcome back to Subnautica. Yes. Apologies for the weak break, but uh, you know, unfortunately, that's just how it worked out. Also, I should not be using that since we're so low on power. Hopefully, I've, did I put? A, I don't have any spare batteries, actually, do I? Oh. Anyway. Yes, let us continue on with our goal, which is, I want to actually get my base started up in this particular one. So that means there's going to be some time skipping, some moving forward, stuff like that. I've got four lead, actually. Lead, lead is important. Yes, I need lead. Don't need the copper. Actually, actually, I better grab some acid, acid shrooms, because I suspect I need to make a battery for this sea glide so, so that I can actually get it charged back up. Let's, let's see. How do I make a battery? I've, I've forgotten. Ugh. It's been a while. But yeah, that, that's the general goal for this one though. Ah, there we go. Battery. Okay, so we've got that. How do we do this then? Oh, the, the torch is slowly draining as well. Oh, this thing's got a flashlight on it. Hmm, I did not know that. Ah, here we go. Press R. We've got a 3% charge one currently in, but we've got a 100% charge one, which we can just swap in. That's how we do it. Okay. At mission accomplished. I know how to change a battery like a smirty person. Yes. Truly, that is all you need to do to know how to survive in this game. Now, where's my storage pods gone? Ah. But yeah, I need, I need some more lead to get some more bases. I need some quartz so that... Um, let's actually dump the battery in there. Let's dump the lead as well. Some more lead would be good, because it needs two leads per base part. If I get quartz, I can make glass, and then if I get glass... Oh dear. Vital signs stabilizing. That'll do. And then if I, get if I get quartz, I can get glass, and glass I can make glass parts. Titanium is also required in large quantities, I, I believe. Let's double check this very quickly so that I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I, I always just laugh so much at myself whenever I say that. Yeah, I should be able to do this. Well, the base pieces I can do that. Base rooms. Oh. I don't actually have the base multi-purpose room blueprint. I can't build my base yet. Darn. I didn't realise that was a thing. <laughs> oh, well. That means I need to go and find the blueprints for a room part. Where the hell am I going to find those? Oh, there was also one thing I forgot as well. I was, I was also told I should get some beacon markers out too. So, beacon markers, that's under personal equipment. Beacon markers? Nope, floating air pump, no. Deploy. Ah, here we go, beacons. Copper ore and titanium. Maintains a broadcaster position. So yeah, I should gra grab some of these beacons and bring them along. So I can mark spots as I go. That's the point. But now we're actually going to do some skipping as well. So let's go ahead and drop some beacons as we go. Three beacons. That should be enough for the time being. I've got. Um, I'm still carrying some shrooms. Scanner. All right. Yeah. I, I guess we're good to go. But in particular, I'm looking for the blueprints for things. Okay, let's go out there and try to find things, and I'll probably get totally lost, to be quite honest, but there you go. Onwards to adventure and all that jazz. Mm, yes. Okay, as a starting point for my adventures, I've retraced my steps to 17. I, I was in a bit of a rush last time I was here, so for some reason I never noticed the massive hole in the ground. Weird, I know, but... Oh, jeez. He Whoa. Hello. You seem to be model of the dangerous. Might as well scan you. Sand shark. Wait, have I did I already scan you? Come on. Let me, let me, let me, let me analyse your being. Thank you. Okay, I didn't actually have that one. Good. It's worth risking life and limb to try and find that out, but yeah, I, I just re retrace my positives from 17. Oh, go away, please. 
Such a violent race. So violent. Though th there is also one of these um, behemoths around as well. I can check that. See if there's anything on the top. But anyways, we've got sand sharks. Let's have a look. Sand sharks. Sand sharks. Indigenous life forms. Fauna. No. Carnivals. Here we go. Sand shark. Powerful medium sized predator that burrows into the sand and ambushes prey from below. As many predators as possible to temporarily distract sand sharks by feeding an any hungry specimens that draw close. Okay, so I can feed things. How the heck do I do that? Um, Seek fluid intake. Chest movement through water, segmented exoskeleton, and it's got feet. Avoid be vigilant without for ambush in sandy areas. All right. Well, I don't really want to get ambushed by that. So that moon. Hmm. That moon. Okay. Right. Let, let's go ahead and try and find some stuff. <laughs> I was going to drop a beacon here, but the thing is the life pod's actually right there. So, I guess I don't really need to, do I? Not really. That's true, no thank you. A rouge cradle. No. I have no idea what that is. Still, there doesn't seem to be very much on top of this guy, so I think I probably... This is probably the one that I already ha checked uh, the first time I came across them. Ooh, a barnacle. With some copper. Mm, not what I'm after, though. Oh, yep, yep, I recognise you. Yep, you're the one I've already checked. Mm. Now, actually, quite interestingly, I was, while pursuing that, I seem to have found a piece of wreckage. I have, I didn't know this was here. Maybe I can find room parts, since that's what I need. We need to check this place out, see if there's anything useful in here. Well, I can see a, cut, a door. Uh, I don't have a laser cutter, but there's also a massive hole in the wall, which that, that'll do. Yeah, that'll help, no matter what. This place looks, looks like it's mildly badly damaged, though. Ooh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Yay! Oh, multiple mobile mobile vehicle bay fragments. Battery charger. Oh, I was just going to start saying that. Um, I hope I find something to try and deal with those batteries that I'm now starting to get. Bench. Blueprint. Bench. Huzzah! That's, that's also a data log, so grab that. Uh, crew manifest. Alright. A command chair! Oh, that's what we need. A chair. Wow, I'm finding all this... Desk? <laughs> I'm finding all sorts of random stuff in this thing, aren't I? Also, I've got to watch my air, because my air is kind of going... Ooh, a swivel chair. Yay! It's worth almost suffocating to get a swivel chair. Anyway, now I need to go to the surface. Jeez. Oh, well, that, that was quite a bit, actually. That's surface. Get things sorted out. Fluid intake immediately. Actually, I'm about to dehydrate, aren't I? Right, I just gained a databank log, I think. Data download, here we go. Survivors! Search and rescue. Uh, is it, um, position, freelance security, mercenary born, experience in ship ship combat, close quarters, tools of duty, dishonorably discharged. For going off mission, classify details. Hired to accompany Paul Torgal on missions to get into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates or rival corporations. This really is a plutocracy, isn't it? Anyway, I need to find some water, like, ASAP. I am quite steadily dying. So that means I need to hunt for water. I need to find bladderfish. No doubt there's some less hunter-gatherer approach. Ooh, quartz. I need that. There's some less hunter-gatherer style approach to it that you can use to get water. Gotta remember, I was also told, quite specifically, that if you're going backwards, you go slower. Shocking, I know. Apparently the... Well, all vehicles have a bad reverse gear. Ooh, there we go. There, you're the ones I'm at. Ooh, come back here. Come back here. Thank you. You come back here as well. Hopefully this time I won't turn you guys into food by accident. 
because I did that last time I went gathering water. <laughs> That's why I was a bit short. Ooh. Salt. No, leave it. I've, I've not got the storage space for stuff like that. S still, though, even though I've been gone for it but like a week and a little bit, I still love how how they've done the underwater world in this game. It really is a massive selling point for me. Just, just look at it. It's so full of life. I, I don't recall seeing any um, underwater games that have done this kind of thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, let's go ahead and drink some fish. Yes. Resources. Sustenance. Water. Uh, disinfected water, if we have bleach. Hmm, bleach-filled water. That sounds absolutely delightful. I, of course, drink bleach as a routine part of my healthy, everyday lifestyle. <laughs> yes. Uh, as a, by the way, don't do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> bleach, bleach actually tastes absolutely awful. Okay, let, that should stop me from dying, at least. Uh, filtered water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yay! Oh, rough cradle seed. I actually did pick something up. Mm, that means I that means I actually need another storage locker then. I was hoping to avoid doing that. Cuz it consumes a fair bit of titanium to do that. Okay. Let, let's drop that and dump some stuff and then head back out to the wreck. And see if we can get some more stuff. I I just need the laser cutter really. It seems like an essential tool, but I don't have it. Now this is strange. I seem to be above the water, the sea line is out of the water, and yet it's still propelling me. Hmm. It shouldn't be able to because its propeller is very clearly out of the water, but it's doing it anyway. This is some seriously advanced kit. I am impressed. Alright, we're back at this wreck. There's the door I was able to bypass. But more interestingly, there is all these random bits and bobs just lying around on the surface. We need to find room fragments, if this game has taught me anything. A giant room will be present in just a fragment. Also, there was something there to scan. I think. No, there was not. Was it? So yeah, we just need to find room fragments. Oh, that's what it was. Metal salvage. Okay. Well, we need the metal anyway, so you know. Might as well grab that too. We need titanium. Precious titanium. Bioreactor fragment. Wait, don't we already have that? Yeah, we've already got that. Uh, salt. No. Hmm. Passing salt. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency it's decreased. all metal down here, isn't it? Oh, a sea moth fragment. Is this the last one? Yes! Sea moth! I have a submarine. Acquired. Well, I don't have a submarine. I'm still, I need to scrounge the parts and build the darn thing, but... Uh, no doubt that will greatly aid me. Ooh, there's some more boxes over this way. What are you? You are a metal? I'm guessing. Yep, metal. Another sea moth fragment, which will give me metal because I've scanned you already. More metal. I'm getting a fair bit of titanium... Some, a fair bit of metal re scrap and stuff. But not what I'm looking for, though. Oops. Yes, thank you, Karen. You save me, because I would seriously forget. No. Nope. Also, I came out this way because there was a cave. And as noted, I didn't actually spot the cave. I did spot some, there's some boxes up here that I didn't notice before. Unfortunately, there's nothing in them. Ah. Oh, there's a box over there. And there's a sand shark. I see you. Uh, ooh, laser cutter. Need you. Mm, two out of three. Bah, humbug. <sighs> oh, well. Actually, how do you get a laser cutter fragment? How does that even work? I mean, it's, it's a very small tool, isn't it? Surely it wouldn't have, like, gone kablooey so thoroughly. I mean, would it? Oh, hello. Oh, why are you, why are you all green and... Oh, jeez. Must be that foreign biological thingy. Okay, I'm just going to ignore you guys for the moment because I want to check this box really fast. Oh, laser cutter fragment. Here we go. Oh, dear. 
Laser cutter. Yes. I have the means to bypass all doors and safe locks. Passing 100 meters. Mm -hmm. Oxygen efficiency. Excellent. Device. Battery charger fragment. Even better. I'm unlocking all the things today. Unfortunately, I've got nowhere to put them, though. But there is that. Oh, dear. Right, what do we got? We've got Seamoth. Can't build it. We've already got... Well, we've got uh, Mobile Vehicle Bay, which will probably let me make a Seamoth. Actually, I should check the blueprints while I'm up here. That would be a good idea. Yes, I do have good ideas sometimes. We've also got a ton of metal salvage, so we're getting lots and lots of raw titanium. Still not quite what we're after, but hey, it's going to help. It's going to help. Yeah, we've got the bioreactor already. Uh, we've unlocked important things like the bench, the desk, and the almighty swivel chair. That reminds me, I need a new one. Mine is broken. Oof, I keep forgetting to do something about that. I'm just used to it because it's. I can still sit on the bottom part. The back of it's just completely busted. Uh, titanium ingots, power cells. Power cells? I don't think I have that one. But yeah, you need a whole bunch of stuff to do that. Laser cutter though, diamond. Oh, I don't think I don't have that. I don't have diamonds. I, I can get everything else, I just don't have the diamonds, so I think I'll need to go spelunking rather deep to try and get that. Mm. Oh wait, no, I can make a power cell. Alright. So I could make a Seamoth if I can make, I think it's the mo mobile vehicle bay that I require to do that. Ah, here we go. Uh, titanium lubricant. Oh! Oh, I, I can make a Seamoth, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can. I think I've got all the parts I need. I, I can't make a laser cutter, though, because I don't have any diamonds, but... Um, yeah, I think I have all the resources required to make a Seamoth. Or at least I can get it. I don't think I have the sulfur on hand. But I can make everything else. Awesome. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Now, the question is, where the heck do I get diamond? Hmm. Oh, well, too much time, too too many boxes. I, I thought I was getting attacked there. Nope, I'll just grab the salvage. Yes, I hear you. I know you're around here somewhere. I just have to... Oh. Oh, there you are. Unfortunately, my inventory is full. Another sea moth fragment. Is my inventory that full? Now I can scan that and get a couple of titanium. Uh, leave it be for a moment, though. I th uh, diamonds. Mm. Where can I get some diamonds? Actually, do I need diamonds for this wreck to explore it further? Uh, uh, yeah, I should, I should check the outside of this thing. I'll just I'll pop up and then check it. See if I've got um, any more doors that need to be... They look like they need to be cut open, because I came across the other wreck earlier, I might recall, which had a door in it. Are there any exterior doors? No, this is a massive chunk of wreckage. Nothing down here. So the bit where I went into before, that, that door... I could probably cut through that. Don't need to though, because I can just bypass it thanks to this hole. Ah, there is a locked door here, though. So yeah, I'd need I'd need to get um, a cutter, I think, to proceed deeper into this. Because there's another door. It's also a radio, which isn't working. Unless there's another hole in the side of the ship. Is there? No, not really. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, I need I need to find diamond and get a cutter. And for the diamond, I probably have to go deeper. I'm 99% certain. Because that's the way this kind of game goes, isn't it? It's like, you want a resource? Go deeper. You want something unusual? Go deeper. It's a, it's a progression thing, isn't it? It's like, always go deeper. Past anyway, let, let's, let's go ahead and scan that uh, sea moth fragment. Grab some titanium, and then I'll head back to the base and try and get myself sorted out a bit better. So, nothing else interesting here. Move along. There's nothing to see here. Now, where'd that fragment go? Hmm. Thirty seconds. Oh dear. 
That's not quite what I was looking for, but I found a, a laser cutter fragment instead, which gave me two titanium. So, yep, that's it. Back to the ship for me. Oh, hello. Go away. Wait a tick, what are you... A scanner room fragment. Oh, hello. How the heck did I miss you? Well, to be fair, I did say I was a bit hurried when I was looking around here. Scanner room unlocked. Oh, yeah. And it's just randomly lying there as well. Hmm. Alright, it seems like I actually do have some cave sulfur on hand. Hmm. I, I, I think I can build a sea moth straight away, actually, using my available materials. And that, unfortunately, I've checked all my stuff, and I don't have any diamond at all. So diamond is going to be an issue. Why is the? Why is the? What's going on? Oh wait, I'm in a very small life pod floating on an ocean. Of course, it's going to rock sometimes. Oof. How did I? <laughs> what, I was generally confused about that. It's like, wait a second, this thing is rocking and rolling. What's going on? It's like, oh yeah, we're on an ocean. Whoops. I honestly don't know why I had a brain derp like that. It's like, of course we're on an ocean. You moron. Hmm. Just... Okay, that's all of that. I'm going to need another storage again, because I don't have enough space. Flat out. Up that. Right. Okay, to make this stuff, I need tit... Oh. Titanium ingot. Wait, no, hang on. I can make those, it's just 10 titanium. I, I didn't need that deployable because I'm about to refine some of this stuff down. Okay, uh, I need lubricant and a power cell. Power cell is two batteries. I don't think I have, have enough acid for this, do I? Probably not. L let's get the ingot sourced out anyway. I think... Wait, I, I also need an ingot for the... Uh, yeah, I need an ingot for the... Sea moth too. Yeah, I need an ingot for da -da -da, glass. I've got some quartz. Yeah, I need two ingots. Okay. Yeah, I think I can do this. I'm really sure I can do this. It's not quite building my base, which is what I wanted to do this episode. I'm on record saying that, but hey, it's you know, it's fun times. Fun times. I'll probably have to go out and harvest some um, acid shrooms though. I don't think I've got enough of those on hand. How did I miss this? It's so close by to where I am, and it's like right here, and somehow I don't think... Yeah, somehow I've never been through here. It's like... Huh. Look at this thing. Seek fluid intake immediately. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm harvesting. That's right. <laughs> I got distracted. Um, don't really want to be in here, you know. Uh, as it turns out, by the by, what I'm actually short of is, well, was copper ore. Oh hello. Oh, see my fragment. Sure. Well, apart from you know, life vital things, I was actually short of copper ore. So I actually had to go out and find some copper. And some acid shrooms as well, but I think I've pretty much got everything I need now. I just need to make sure I don't die. That's also vaguely important. Come, come here, boomerangfish. Oh, wait, no, you're... Um, oh, I can't grab any of you. Mm. Okay, I'll just have to grab these guys instead. Because I need food as well, but... I, I just need life-giving sustenance. That's what I'm looking for right now. Okay, I've almost dropped dead. I've got multiple life warnings. But I think I've got everything I need. Including food. So um, if you don't mind, I'm going to stuff my face. At least for the moment. Because I just need to get all this stuff sorted. Yes, yeah, sustenance. Keep giving me water. Because water is the one that seems to drain the fastest. To be fair though... That's uh, pretty accurate, because people can survive longer without food than they can without water. I think it's like a couple of weeks-ish. Don't, don't quote me on this. A week or so without food. No, that that seems too short. 
but water is like only a matter of days. So let's just fry up some peepers that I caught. Include the, look at those big, lovely, bulbous eyes. Full of yellow nutrients and succulent meat. Mm. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, that, that's bad. Right. I was too busy cooking and didn't actually tend to my own needs. Is that everything? Actually, yeah, I cooked Sleep everything, that's fine. Vital signs stabilizing. Actually, cooked peepers are really good, plus 32. Nice. Might as well eat that as well. Uh, 112, so I'm slightly overstocked. And just guzzle all that. I got slightly hurt, so I'll use a medkit. It's okay, I generate medkits automatically anyway, so that's fine. Oh. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. That's a nice saying, actually. Hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, I actually retrieved that 3% battery I took out of my Sea Glide, and apparently it doesn't matter how charged it is, you can still use it to, in crafting of a power cell, so yeah, that's why I only had to craft one battery before I did that. But yeah, they, they seem to be a very optimistic bunch. Which in this game probably means something's going to happen to them. Okay, we can make a mobile vehicle factory. Yes, show me the things. Unfortunately, yeah, no sign of diamond. I still need to go deep into the caves trying to find some diamond for that. Or find a biome. Right, I've got a uh, mobile vehicle factory. Ooh, that's pretty big, actually, a 3x3. Three three. Okay, right, Seamoth. I need lubricant, lead, and glass. Yep, grab my last seed cluster. Um, you know, I, the ones I harvested right in the very first episode, and then I've not found a use for since, so they've just been sitting in that, in there, just like um, doing nothing. Yep, now I've actually found a use for them. I've used up three, which was exactly what I needed, to get the materials for making a sea moth. So, hmm, that was convenient and lucky. One lead and two glass. Is there any quartz in here? Yes, there is. The lead is outside, however. Uh, make oh, it's yeah, it's two two quarts per glass. So I think I need to find some more quartz. Now there's some quartz outside as well. I'm pretty sure. Uh, me, though, this is raiding supplies, which I was starting to build up for. Um, I was just like gathering these random bits and bobs. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was gathering these random bits and bobs just for building the base, but now I'm using them instead for what looks to be better exploration ability, depending on how good the sea moth actually is. Ah, here we go, quartz. Two of those. We need the lead as well, actually. Lead. Is the lead in here? No. This is just like a, a littering ground. I'm just like dumping all of my stuff in the ocean. Nope. Unfortunately, because it's, it's completely disorganized, I keep losing track of things in here. Ah, here's the lead. And that should give me all the stuff I require. Yep. I just need to craft up that glass and we're good to go. We'll have a sea moth. And that's going to be the big... Oh, hello. That's another message. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Hmm. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Ah. Location uploaded to PDA. All right, so that has just given me well, it's apparently there's a dry land rendezvous. Oi, go away. What are you even doing this close to me? Ah! Why are you even here? Go away. <laughs> right. Okay, right. Um, so, yeah. I now have a uh, coordinates to go to. I just need to 
release this. Um, now, I came across one of Markiplier's videos of this, so I have actually seen this before briefly. And if I recall, what Markiplier did was hop on this, and then these are his sons. Uh, Jeffrey, Billy, Samwise, and Marshall. Markiplier just loves naming things. Oh, they are kind of cute, though. I can see why they'd be given names. <laughs> anyway, right. So I, I, I knew that part, but I tuned out after that because I knew that I wanted to play this. Oh, they're, they're actually hovering around in front of me. It's like, hmm, we've got a job to do. Okay, vehicles. We can make a... Yep, we've got everything. Seamoth. Give me a, a Seamoth, please. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. I've been doing enough swimming, thank you. Okay, so we've got a seam off. Awesome! It's a little submarine. Oh, this is pretty cool, actually. Oh, that's nice. I, I like the design of this. Upgrades. Upgrade slots. Cool, I can upgrade it. Right. Um, is there anything else on the outside of this? Go away! Nope, I can enter it then. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, you talk to me as well, and oh, this is fast. Okay, I've got a power rating on the side, I've got a temperature, and I've got a health rating. However, in this thing, I am not using oxygen. My oxygen level is not depleting. You are going to be incredibly helpful. I'm wondering if I've done something slightly out of order, though, because I've got a Seamoth before I've got a base. Nah, it's fine. It's just how it's worked out, isn't it? <laughs> there is no order to these things. I, I, I think I, I must have just got... Oh, wait. Power cell charge, 99%. Okay, so I, I need to keep this thing stocked with power cells to keep it operational. Makes sense. And it's also quite prominent there at the back. So that's also quite nice. But yeah. We have a Seamoth. We have a rendezvous point where the first officer says the captain's gone. So no doubt I'll find many happy compatriots and no longer be alone in this wet, wet wasteland. Well, it's not a wasteland. It's full of life after all. I keep saying that. But yeah, we've got a Seamoth. Okay. I think this will be quite helpful, actually. But yeah. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it there. This has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. And don't worry, I don't plan to do hiatus on this. Oh, wait. I heard that. I'm, 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 going, I'm going to go where it's safe. I'm going to climb into my seat off again. Do you have lights, though? You do! Okay. Good thing I checked that, because if I left the lights on, it would probably drain the battery a little bit faster. <laughs> That's pretty bright, actually. Well, I guess I know how I'm going down into that cave over um, near Life Pod 17. Awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all some other time. Hmm. Casual laser.